As Growing Boulder Medical Director Dr. Robert Masson walks through the garage area at Daytona International Speedway, he can't help but remember walking through the garage at Sebring International Raceway last year, the day he nervously made his racing debut, realizing a childhood dream. So this is my first year in IMSA, which is the largest North American road racing organization. My son was the rookie last year, his dad's the rookie this year, and uh, it's a little overwhelming, but I'm having a great time. Much has changed in the past year, including Dr. Masson's definition of success. Unfortunately, last year I had zero expectations. Now I have expectations. I have an agenda. I know exactly what I want to accomplish. Results are more important to me than they were a year ago. I want to end up on the podium, the overall podium. That's our goal, very specifically. After a seventh place finish in his debut race at Sebring last year, Dr. Masson steadily improved over the course of the season. Dr. Masson is driving quite differently this weekend than we've seen before. All of a sudden, he's got this figured out. It's like something has clicked. Robert's late season charge propelled him to a second place finish in the Masters Division Season Championship. His son Kyle dominated the overall series, winning 11 of 13 races while simultaneously competing in WeatherTech's Tequila Patron North American Endurance Championship where he won three of four races, including the Rolex 24 Hours of Daytona and the 12 Hours of Sebring. All told, he took the checkered flag in 14 of 17 races, winning two championships. This year, Kyle is competing full-time in WeatherTech's highest prototype class, so Robert is racing for the first time without him in the field and in the same garage. I didn't realize how much I depended on him for all the little details about performance and setup and coaching and lots of little things and uh, it's pretty cool to be able to depend on your 20 year old kid. Here at the World Center of Racing, the Daytona International Speedway. Today's race is the first ever IMSA prototype challenge presented by Mazda at Daytona International Speedway, the World Center of Racing and it draws a large crowd anxious to meet the drivers, get their autographs, and even see their cars up close. It's a unique experience for the fans and for Dr. Masson. It's living a dream. It's definitely something I never saw myself doing. I'm really eager to be able to inspire those smiles. It's a different animal for me completely, and I love it. As much as your patients love you, how many of your patients have asked for your autograph? Zero. Uh, well, unless you count prescriptions, right? So, uh, but never, never for real. So that was cool. The one hour, 45 minute race features two classes running together, closed cockpit LMP3 race cars and the open air Mazda powered Elan prototypes in the MPC class. Dr. Masson qualifies third in the MPC, which starts behind the higher powered and faster LMP3s. Robert almost immediately moves into the MPC lead with a pass of Performance Tech teammate Wyatt Schwab. Schwab reclaims the lead a short time later, but when he hits debris on the track, Masson takes over and never looks back. With his family, including Kyle, watching from the pits, Masson dominates the race, taking his first ever checkered flag, winning not only the Masters division, but the entire MPC class by over 12 seconds. Dr. Masson, first win in the series. Nice job, Robert. How's that feel, buddy? Now, I was worried a little bit, you know, after an hour, an hour and 10 minutes if the old guy had the endurance. Well, you know, they worry about our hearts and all these things, but, uh, you know, I think some of my fastest laps were in the last 20 minutes. So, uh, I, I, you know, we can do it. One of the hardest places in the world to put your car is in Victory Lane at Daytona. As Dr. Masson's car is rolled in and he raises his trophy atop the podium, a unique moment unfolds that few here are aware of. A first of its kind intergenerational connection from one year to the next. 
One year ago, you were in Victory Lane with Kyle. Yeah. Did you ever imagine you'd be the guy? Yeah, that's true. I hadn't thought that. I'm in Victory Lane at Daytona a year after Kyle won the Rolex 24. That's phenomenal. Incredible. It's an incredible moment for Dr. Robert Masson and an important moment for all of motorsports. Racing is a dream that countless boys and girls grow up with, and thanks to IMSA, Mazda, race teams like Performance Tech, and the example of drivers like Robert and Kyle Masson, it's a dream that's never too soon or too late to pursue. And it's a proud moment for growing bolder when one of our own, through hard work, dedication, and the pursuit of relentless forward progress, inspires all of us to dream big. For all those people who will ultimately watch this and uh, who are paying attention to what I'm trying to do on behalf of Growing Boulder, I really hope that they use it in some small way to uh, leap forward to some personal goal, whether it be athletic or emotional or political or uh, philosophical, it doesn't matter. And it's amazing what committing to a journey will give you. And it's the Growing Boulder way, it's the say yes attitude. And, I really, really hope that if they see this, that will flip a switch for them personally, that they can hit their next dream, because that's what you guys are all about, and that's why I love being part of it. Kyle learned to race before he had a driver's license. Robert learned to race before he qualified for Medicare. Their story transcends motorsports and proves that growing bolder is not about age, it's about attitude. So what's Dr. Masson's attitude now? He wants to be in Victory Lane at the same time as Kyle. My new goal is now, well, he moved up to the highest class in racing, and now I'm an anchor to him, so I have to get better so that I can move up to the highest, so I can race with my kid again. And, you know, if I fall short, at least I tried, but that is my new goal, is to get to the highest level of uh, prototype racing in North America. That's growing bolder.